Hi folks, Rendo here from Advanced Radio and today I'll be going through a setup video on some of the advanced features available in the version 5 update of Smoothlight and the RRS system. Our demonstration model of today is the T1 models. Um, it's 2.2 meter sports jet uh, with a 160 size turbine in it. It's great because it's super lightweight, accurate and it's available from uh, Boomer RC. But we'll go through the uh, version 5 update. So if you come in a bit closer, Right now we've got the model already set up, ailerons work, elevators work, rudder works, all the servos are set up, plugged into the bus. So now we'll start going through the advanced features. What we recommend to do is start on the gyro. So we'll go into where it says smooth flight, we'll go into wizard, we'll go yes. Now what type of model is it? It's a turbine model, so if I can push the screen there and go next. How heavy is the model? It's about 14 kilos dry, so we'll go next. Uh, this is saying you need a three-stage switch on your radio assigned. Now, I've already pre-assigned it on the Futaba, so I'll go next. And if I flick the switch a couple of times, you'll notice it finds the channel, which I've got assigned as channel 10. So we'll go next again. We'll go OK. This is where we tell the gyro the endpoints. So you'll start to hear servos buzzing as I move them to the endpoints. Aileron, elevator, and rudder. Now we make sure that you do this on high rates if you do use rate switches, because um, this tells the gyro the endpoints where it can move the servos. So we'll go capture, we'll go next. Where do we want gyro on? Aileron, elevator, and rudder? Yep, so we'll leave those all as, as ticked. We'll go next. Is the bus mounted upright or inverted? It's upright, so we'll tick that one. We'll go next. We'll go okay. Now your smooth flight setup's done. That's how easy it is to set up the uh, smooth flight system. And the gyro is currently switched off. If I switch it on, I might, you can hear the servos moving as I rock the plane. So that means that the gyro is now switched on and activated on the surfaces. We also recommend after you do your smooth flight setup to go through and just double check the direction of the gyro on, the, uh, on each surface. So ailerons, elevator, rudder, it should be set up pretty much perfect inside the bus, but it does help to double check those things. Alright, stay tuned for some more advanced features and setup. Thanks guys.